all right welcome back to another video of plex garage i'll show you what we got in for today we're gonna do a little bit of a i guess diagnosing taking a little bit of a break from the 240 just a little because uh i picked up the head from tom's auto and then i was about to start reinstalling everything and i realized that uh i have a broken exhaust manifold stud stuck deep into the head so i brought it to my friend's shop speedway to have it extracted because i don't want to fuck that up so he's extracting the bolt or the stud and um after that uh we'll get it back and hopefully reinstall i mean i got other stuff to do to it but um just go and take a little little break from the 240 because uh some people said they want to see some other stuff so we're gonna go ahead and diagnose something and this is what we got so you ever get that in the morning or your first drive you come into your vehicle start it up and then you see so everything looks like it checks out but then you have this right here so this um indicator means that you have an issue either with low tire pressure or your TPMS or tire pressure monitor sensor system sensor is given out so typically if it's solid like that you have something with a, either a leak or a low tire pressure so we're gonna go ahead and investigate and see what's going on so we're gonna do a little walk around okay that tire looks good <sighs> The tire looks all right. Doesn't look too bad. What, what? Whoa! What is that? All right. So it looks like we do have a tire with low tire pressure. Or, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, jack up the car, remove the tire. Can't really tell from just looking at it. So we're gonna have to take off the tire, and I'll show you how to figure it out. Or diagnose it without bringing it to a shop all right so once you jack up the vehicle and you remove your wheel tire that's flat you can go ahead and get a bottle with water and some soap and then basically you're gonna try to find the leak or works punctured at so i'm just gonna go ahead and Start. You can already hear something. Oh, what is that? So the reason why we use soap and water is because if you use water, it's it won't bubble up like you see right here. So so this is actually the puncture that we see causing the leak we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove that but let's go see if there's any other punctures so apparently this is a pretty bad leak and we're back to the puncture we're going all the way around you can, I don't know if the mic can pick it up you can actually hear it making some kinds of sounds you know the air is pushing out the soap and water All right, so that's pretty deep. We'll grab some tools and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, extract this, I guess, snail screw. It looks like a screw. And um, we'll go ahead and repair it. Uh, yeah. Try to get a closer look at what it is. You see right here. Yeah, so uh, what I was told was um, they had to air the tire three times a day. Once in the morning, obviously, it's the very first time in the morning and it's already flat. And you can tell why, because that's a pretty bad leak, but um, I'll get it out. One eternity later. All right, so before I completely pull out that screw, which is pretty big, I got my tire repair tools and the tire jerky. 
I'm gonna go pull it out and then I'm gonna shove this in so that way it can um, just clog up the hole. So as you can see, this is a pretty crazy looking screw. It's pretty big. I'm not sure where it came from. It looks like it's a carpenter or wood screw, but um, yeah. So we got this tool in. Uh, basically gonna go ahead and shred the, the puncture so that way it's easier for the to insert the tire jerky. And it gets a better seal. Uh, put that down for a little bit. And it's also advisable to go ahead and take an air pump and while while you're putting air into the tire it creates the surface to be uh, stiffer so that way when you uh, insert the tire jerky it's a lot easier than to push down on something that's really soft so it just makes it a lot more easier so it might get a little loud but uh yeah we're going to take one of the, the jerkies Insert it through here and then fold it. Oh, make sure all that plastic's off so it's a better seal. And kind of fold it. So these things, they don't last forever. You don't want to permanently, or it's not a per permanent patch, so it's just temporary patch lasts for a little bit or for a while so you can replace your tire or have your tire patched correctly so this is just like on the fly kind of thing jerky you basically want to force it in right away and then once it slides in enough more than half or whatever you gotta pull the tool out real quick or the whole jerky is gonna come out so as you can see testing it for weeks and it's holding air so far so I'm gonna cut it so that way it's not sticking out and you hear like this clicking sound while you're driving Finish airing up the tire and then we'll go ahead and mount the tire back. Alright, so we got the we got the lug nut torqued down to 90 foot pounds. We're gonna see if the TPMS light is still on. And if it is, it's just a very simple thing to reset it. Start the car. Find out in a little bit. So as you can see, the TPMS light is still on. So what we're gonna do is, dang, I took my phone off the, <laughs> the Joby, the Gorilla Pod. We're gonna have to drive it for a little bit. These up to the, um, these past 25 miles per hour, or the speed limit here on Guam, which is 35. And then um, hopefully it should turn off. It actually should turn off because it's not like I broke the TPMS sensor. It's just the tire got low and the vehicle needs to read that the proper tire pressure is in the tire. So uh, we'll go ahead and drive it for a little bit. And uh, we'll see. So 
So I just drove it around the block and uh, it's turned off. So we are good to go. So uh, that's that's basically it. Diagnosing a TPMS light and figuring out how to find the puncture, if there is a puncture, and how to repair it. All right, so that's all I got for this video. Um, trying to hit 100 subscribers, and if we can make it, I'll be giving away, actually, a shirt, but um, it's gonna have this logo on it, and um, we'll do a giveaway. So if you like this kind of content, like, comment, subscribe, and um, yeah, we'll see you next video. Stay tuned and uh, see you next time. Peace. Be safe. Wash hands. Awesome.